Tithing in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the giving of 10% of income or increase to the Lord to grow His church on earth used to pay for new buildings, pay bills and so forth. Many claim tithing was done away in the New Testament with Christ. While tithing mainly is brought up in the Old Testament, there is no indication in the New Testament that the principle or practice was ended in the New Testament. People just assume it based based on no evidence. Yes the topic is discussed more on the Old Testament. The Old Testament covers thousands of years in 39 texts versus less than 100 years in 27 texts in the New Testament so of course it mentions it more often. The New Testament tends to deal with either new issues or things people are having difficulties at. Tithing is a simple topic and most likely people did not have a problem with it or understanding what it was about. If tithing was not a problem Galatians or the Corinthians, there would be no need for Paul write about it. It is very possible that the New Testament Christians widely paid tithing but it simply does not get mentioned. The New Testament is not meant or claimed to be a comprehensive account or history of the New Testament saints and what they believed or did. Though tithing was practiced under the law of Moses but did not originate with that law. Prior to that law, Abraham offered tithes in Genesis chapter 14, verses 17 to 20. The New Testament references tithing in Matthew chapter 23, verse 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, these ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Jesus was not condemning the Pharisees for paying tithes. He was rebuking them for omitting things like judgment, mercy, and faith even though they did pay tithing. The RSV translates the last portion of this passage quote, these you ought to have done, without neglecting the others. Unquote. Paying tithing was important for them but they should have gone far beyond just doing that. There is some evidence that tithing was practiced by the early Christian church. The 3rd century writing of Cyprian apparently alludes to tithing and believers abandoning it not out of a command by God but more of spiritual apathy and selfishness. Quote. But in us unanimity is diminished in proportion as liberality of working is decayed then they used to give for sale houses and estates, and that they might lay up for themselves treasures in heaven, presented to the apostles the price of them, to be distributed for the use of the poor. But now we do not even give the tenths from our patrimony, and while our Lord bids us sell, we rather buy and increase our store. Thus has the vigor of faith dwindled away among us, thus has the strength of believers grown weak. The 4th century work the Apostolic Constitution says quote, Let him use those tenths and firstfruits, which are given according to the command of God, as a man of God, as also let him dispense in a right manner the free will offerings which are brought in on account of the poor. Tithing is a doctrine and practice that is consistent with Christianity. It was not based on the law of Moses and with no indication in the New Testament that the practice ended. Some claim since tithing done anciently by giving food or animals like this image shows, that it is not required today. The suggestion is it was not paid by currency, check, credit or debt cards in ancient times we don't need to pay it by such methods today. This assertion is nonsense. None of this stuff existed two or three thousand years ago so they paid how their economies were structured. Today, currency, debit, and credit is the norm and one can pay with that instead. One can also figure out more accurately what 10% of their income, increase, whatever is than calculating food and other stuff. We have less excuse in paying tithing today than those living two or three thousand years ago. Perhaps people think tithing is not required today but if God still think it is, that is a risky position one should not be on the wrong side of the Lord on.